North End area, Shepherd's Bush, we're talking about London here, Hammersmith. It is infested with these gangs and they are all from the same gang. And they are like spies. There are spies everywhere that see me. You know, every other hour I'm being called a snitch. You know, a guy on a bicycle, oh, he's snitch. Another guy on a moped, oh, he's snitch. <laughs> Today, I was following a Honda SH. It was grey and it was being driven erratically. The moment I saw it, I realised I had to pay extra attention to this guy. You just made someone crash. Yeah? You've just made someone crash. Did I? Yeah, you did. Go back. I'll go back. I know who you are, bro. Yeah, you know what? I'll go back. Is it my fault? Yeah, what's your fault? Drive like a lunatic. Huh? Go back. That way. No, go back the normal way. <laughs> bro, you're driving like a lunatic. Go back, man. God man, I think this bike is stolen. Let's see what this guy does. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, I'm following you because you drove you drove off from the scene. I don't know, I'm going back. All right, until I see you're with the guy, I'll leave. No way, no worries. The guy is gone, man. The guy is gone. You're driving it like it's stolen, man. It's not. No, don't say sorry to me. But the guy is working. I know you on video, bro. Yeah, yeah. The guy, bro. The guy is working. You're driving like you stole the bike, and he come off his bike. He drops on the floor, and you drive off. I didn't know he dropped. You, bro. A hundred percent you knew. Sorry. He was right next to you. Don't say sorry to me. Don't say sorry to me. The guy's not here. It's a pizza hot store. I'm on YouTube like that. Bro, that's down to me. Yeah, that's down I'm to me. I'm asking you, you've got my face, look at it. Of course. Can you not put me This on is what I do, I record. Yeah, but I'm asking you, can you not? Don't matter how many times you ask. I'm not being rude or anything, I'm asking I'm not, you. I'm not I'm not trying to be rude. Yeah, but, but I'm just asking for you me, nicely, bro. Can you not? It don't matter how you ask. It don't matter how you ask. Thank you. It's up to you man. Don't thank me, bro. Just be safe, man. You're gonna kill yourself. I swear to God, you're gonna kill yourself. It was only till after, when I saw the footage, that I recognized something. Something very revealing. 
go back one week and I had noticed a black T-Max probably stolen with an upside down number plate. On board, there were two people, two youths, they looked very young, who were probably joyriding this bike and up to no good. At the time, I couldn't follow these guys because I was assigned to a dispatch. And because of that, all I could do was ask them a question as they drove by. Yo, you guys all right? Yeah. Why is your number plate upside down? Now, why am I mentioning the story today from this clip? Well, <laughs> I'm kicking myself for not, for not holding that guy back and waiting for the police to come. Because there's a link between the two clips. There's a massive link. The helmet that this guy who caused the accident today was wearing is a customized and very distinctive helmet. It's a small size helmet, which I can tell it's matte black and it has a black visor. These are three distinct features. North End area, Shepherd's Bush. We're talking about London here. Hammersmith. It is infested with these gangs and they are all from the same gang and they are like spies. There are spies everywhere that see me. Sometimes I look over my shoulder and there's a kid in the corner filming me. When I drive by, they call on me. Oi snitch, oi snitch, oi snitch. When I'm working, I look over my shoulder. I have a, you know, I have two teenagers by themselves recording me. These guys, you know, maybe low level but it's intelligence building just as i'm doing intelligence work seeing where these guys hang out trying to locate these stolen bikes they're doing the same thing about a week two weeks ago i've just i've just been getting noticed and noticed and noticed and these these kids are everywhere they are everywhere they're in gangs i'll show you different pictures from my instagram okay they have access to stolen bikes and they are very dangerous people don't let their size fool them okay a 12 year old, a 13 year old, a 15, a 16 year old with a knife big enough could do damage. And this is what we got to avoid. This is why I do the work that I do. I've got a lot of other footage that I don't show that I'm working on. But I know what these guys are getting up to. And the reason I'm forced to do all this stuff is because if I don't do it, then who's going to do it? The next thing I know, if I don't do this work, I'm going to be dragged off my bike again. I'm going to be attacked. You know, I've, I know guys that have had acid thrown in their face. I know guys that have been stabbed. Either you attack or be attack. Either you follow and be proactive or just accept that you're going to be the next victim. And when you're, when you're in a job like mine, where you're on the road 50, 60 hours a week, it's not if, it's when. It's when you're going to be attacked. It's not an if anymore. <laughs>